Exclusive Contracted Novel by Felu Novel Network Kingdom of Light Inventory and Exposure of Top 10 Most Handsome Transformations Mufan, who has traveled to the world of Ultraman, has obtained the Ultraman editing system. With the ability of the editing system, Mufang edited the wonderful scenes of the Ultra World together and spread them to countless universes. The top 10 handsome transformations of the new generation Ultraman Classic Battle of Ultra World The strongest monster in the world of Ultraman series after series of inventory were born in the hands of Mufang. The people of Ultraman World also deeply recognized the power of those Ultramen. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Ultraman Inventory, Kneeling Flower Monthly Ticket Review You are listening at NovelFull.audio Finally accomplished. Mufun stretched lazily. Looking at the edited video content in front of me, I nodded in satisfaction. On the day of the journey, Mufong activated the Gold Fingers Ultra Edit System. You can edit and produce videos through the system, and then publish them in the multiverse of Ultra World. As long as someone sees it, Mufong can receive rewards. Rewards can also be obtained through rewards from others. Therefore, Mufong is very attentive to this matter, and the first video must be done perfectly. So, from the time of crossing over, Mu Fong has been considering editing content. Now, all the preliminary work for Mu Feng has been done. Without any hesitation, simply press the publish button. Connecting all universes. Successfully connected, video published. In an instant, in front of everyone in various universes, time and space. A huge light curtain appeared. A line of large golden characters appears. Inventory the top 10 most handsome transformations of the new generation Ultraman. The sudden change shocked everyone. All forces in the various universes are now looking up, staring closely at the giant screen in the sky. Each face was serious. K-76 Star. Sero let out another roar, clenched his fist, and charged towards Leo. Two figures are fighting head dot on. There are no flashy skills, it's just physical combat. Dong dong dong. A loud noise came. Dust is flying on the ground. After a few attacks, Leo kicked and suddenly hit Ciro's chest. Ciro took several dozen steps back in succession before finally stabilizing his figure. At this point, he was already a bit embarrassed. Breathing heavily, he reached out and rubbed his chest, looking at Leo. When will the training end? It's been so long. Since he almost touched the plasma spark energy core and was stopped by Severn, he was sent here to receive the characteristics of Leo. Wearing cultivation armor, enduring the torment of Leo every day. Leo looked up at Ciro and slowly spoke. When you can defeat me, you can naturally leave. After speaking, there was a strong sense of war in Ciro's eyes. Jumping up with a body, adopting a combat posture. Since that's the case, let's continue. Leo was speechless when he saw Ciro's performance. However, Ciro's willingness to fight is naturally a good thing. He soon prepared to raise his hand to deal with it. Suddenly, a dazzling light appeared above. Immediately, a light curtain appeared in front of the two owls. Inventory the top 10 most handsome transformations of the new generation Ultraman. Seeing these lines of big characters floating above, Sero couldn't calm down in an instant. What is this? Leo also frowned and carefully checked several times. There is no trace at all. This thing appears too abrupt and very mysterious. Please observe carefully first. Two AO stopped all their actions at the same time, staring intently at the sudden appearance of the light curtain. The Kingdom of Light Zo Ao was listening to the speech of the father of Ultraman when suddenly he heard a majestic voice in his ear. The top ten most handsome transformations of the new generation Ultraman have officially begun. The selected candidates will be ranked, and those on the list will receive rewards. 
At the same time, this golden light curtain has also been revealed in front of them. The crowd suddenly became calm. What is this? Did those cosmic beings create it? Even Zofi couldn't help but frown. Father Ott carefully felt it and then spoke slowly, this thing should not have been created by those monsters and cosmic beings. With their strength, they have not yet been able to easily break through the kingdom of light. Perhaps it is a mysterious existence that we do not know about. Father Ott spoke and his expression became more serious. He couldn't even feel any hint, suddenly appearing in the entire kingdom of light, the mysterious power of that existence must not be underestimated. However, the top 10 most handsome transformations of the new generation Ultraman. Everyone on the list has a reward, and the Ultraman on the side are full of interest. Since it is a ranking of Ultraman rewards will also be given, this mysterious existence must have no malicious intent towards them. Upon hearing the words of Father Ott, the other restless members of the group quickly calmed down. It is a good thing for both themselves and the Kingdom of Light. Dig a world. A great war has just ended on Earth, and while Dagu is celebrating with the members of the victory team, a mysterious light curtain suddenly appears. The top 10 most handsome transformations of the new generation Ultraman, so there are actually more than one existing Ultraman, murmured Dagu. Indeed, it is clear from the title that the top 10 most handsome transformations indicate that there are definitely more than 10 Ultraman warriors. However, what does transformation mean? Is Ultraman transformed from other creatures? Can he be a human? Analyze the deputy captain of the sect. The other victorious team members also showed a thoughtful expression. Upon hearing their communication, the goo, who had not yet been exposed, clenched his fist and his heart pounded wildly, afraid of being detected by the team members. However, his heart was still very excited. Since awakening Digga, he has been fighting against monsters on Earth to protect humanity. I have also thought about whether there are giants in other places. Now, this light curtain has made this clear. I'm really looking forward to it. I really want to know what other Ultramen look like. After floating in the air for a period of time, this line of golden characters slowly disappeared. Soon, a majestic voice rang out again. There are many heroes in the endless river of history. They are all fighting for their beliefs and for what they want to protect. The warriors selected by Ultraman bear the weight of protection, they never fall or give up. Every transformation is not just about a change in strength, but also about sticking to one's beliefs until the very last moment. With this sound, countless images kept flickering and then slowly disappearing. Attracted everyone's attention. Inventory officially begins. Counting the top 10 most handsome transformations of the new generation Ultraman, ranked 10th with Nexus, new generation. P.S. New book release, kneeling down for flower monthly pass evaluation tickets. All your support is the author's motivation, thank you very much. Chapter 2 The New Generation of Nexus, Kneeling for the Flower Moon you are listening at NovelFull.Audio. Zeta Ultraman World. Nexus, is this the name of Ultraman? In the arsenal, Yoko looked at the content on the light curtain and asked his companions beside him. I guess so. That name sounds really nice, at least much better than Zeta. Dida's words made Zeta feel a sense of disappointment inside Yasuhiro Natsumoto's body. Yao Hui quietly asked Zeta in his heart. Zeta, have you ever heard of Nexus? As a new generation Ultraman, Zeta had never heard of Nexus. On the other hand, Gagula looked at Nexus on the screen of light and pondered. Nexus World. At this moment, the Nexus adaptable person was still Ji Yazhen, and upon seeing the news on the screen, her whole heart trembled. Wait, this shapeshifter can't be me. If that's the case, I'll be exposed. As a war correspondent, Ji Yajun is well aware that if she were exposed, the danger she would encounter would never be lower than fighting against those alien beasts. On the other side, TLT.J International Liberation Agency Japan Branch. 
Matsunaga Yoichiro looked at the glowing light curtain in his eyes and ordered his subordinates beside him. Keep a record later and definitely find Nexus transformation. How can such power be controlled by individuals? After hearing Matsunaga Yoichiro's words, the subordinates on the side nodded in response. Yes. Next second. The screen appears on the light screen. On the chaotic streets, the members of the Zio special search team discovered the commotion. In the underground parking lot, an alien beast is wandering there. The Kong Da Di noticed the abnormality of the alien beast, but he did not recognize this alien beast. This is not even a creature on Earth. Take out the big sky and Earth of the Ike's terminal and ask Ike's for help. Is it from the universe? Ike's voice was transmitted through the terminal. It should be something on Earth that attracted him. Upon hearing that the unknown monster came from the universe, the Earth speculated that it might have been attracted by something on Earth. At this moment, Ike seemed to have thought of something and spoke to the vast sky, saying, I have heard of a creature in the universe called an alien beast, which feeds on the fear of any creature. Is it an alien beast? Upon hearing Ike's words, the vast earth learned that this creature was called an alien beast. However, due to being too focused, Dakong Dadi did not realize that the alien beast over there had already discovered him. Earth. When Ike's was born to remind him, the alien beast had already rushed towards the vast sky and earth. On King Star. Leo looked at the content in the video and said with some resentment. These children nowadays are just too playful about fighting. In Leo's view, both the performance of the sky, earth, and Ike's were very poor. Whether it's the performance after discovering monsters or the inability to react quickly when facing danger, in Leo's opinion, it's all unqualified. It seems that these new generation kids need more rigorous training. As Ultraman trained by Sean, Leo also has his own views on training new students. Although he is not in the Kingdom of Light, he still knows a lot about the affairs of the Kingdom of Light. Ike's World Watch the footage in the video. Everyone turned their gaze to the vast sky and earth. Hiss. I can't believe the earth, you're actually Axe Ultraman. Yamasai Akira looked shocked and said as she looked at the vast expanse of land pretending to be innocent. Ha ha ha, you're hiding deep enough. Every time Axe comes out, he can't find you. Feng Jiendu hugged the shoulder of the vast sky and earth and said to him. I don't know how to tell you either, but the doctor knows my identity. Seeing that everyone was about to condemn him, the Kong Da Di quickly dragged the doctor into the water. In the video. With Axe's reminder, the sky and earth immediately reacted. Oh 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 watching the extraterrestrial beast rushing towards him, the sky and earth were also a bit flustered for a moment. Fortunately, at this time, Yame Sakira arrived in time. Pushed the vast expanse of the earth away to prevent him from being injured by alien beasts. Then he took out his Zio explosive gun from his pocket and launched an attack on the alien beast. Pang. The power of the explosive gun is still considerable. With just one strike, the alien beast was knocked out. Is everything okay? Yame Sakira looked at the vast expanse of land pushed to the ground and asked. The vast expanse of the earth, clutching its arms as it crawled up from the ground, looked at the alien beast on the ground and said. Thank you for saving me again. Speaking of which, this guy looks really scary. Yame Sakira looked at the strange creature on the ground and lamented how terrifying its appearance was. Then he opened his mouth and asked towards the vast sky. Should we eliminate him or arrest him? Upon hearing Yamasai Akira's words, Daikoku said. Just detected his aggressiveness and predation, it seems like he has been eliminated. Upon hearing the words of Dakong DD, Yame Sakira took out the X terminal and contacted her teammates. The Earth judges that this creature needs to be eliminated. After speaking, Yame Sakira pulled the trigger on this alien beast. At this point, 
the team members located elsewhere also launched attacks on these underground alien beasts after receiving information from Yame Sakira. Nexus World Ji Yenjuan watched as the alien beast in the video clenched her fist. I didn't expect that there were also extraterrestrial beasts in that world. When Ji Yazhen saw that it was not her own world, she also breathed a sigh of relief. After all, in this way, you don't need to worry about being exposed. However, when Ji Yajun saw the existence of extraterrestrial beasts in that world, she also felt fortunate for that world. Fortunately, there is also Nexus Ultraman in their world. In the night raid team on the other side. Looking at the exploding gun in the video with Tsang Yingfu, his eyes were full of confusion. Are the weapons in their world so high? End. Although their night raid team's weapons can also eliminate ordinary alien beasts, they are definitely not as simple as the defense team portrayed in the video, and their weapons are not as agile either. P.S. New book release, kneeling down for flower monthly pass evaluation tickets. All your support is the author's motivation, thank you very much. Chapter 3 Despair Moments Noah's light appears, kneeling. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The Kingdom of Light Siwen looked at the alien beast in the video with some confusion. How could extraterrestrial creatures appear in this world? As an Ultraman active during the Showa period, Severn still had some understanding of the information about the alien beasts and Noah. According to his understanding, due to Noah's actions, Dark Zaki and those terrifying extraterrestrial beasts were driven into those desolate universes. It seems that darkness is about to sweep through again. Jack on the side nodded when he heard Sean's exclamation. The Ott brothers were the ones who could most intuitively feel the power of darkness. Fortunately, new generations like Axe and others have also grown up now. The video continues. Orange Lily, who received the message, moved slowly while searching for information about the alien beast. As she passed by the corner of the underground, Orange Lily discovered an alien beast wandering here. Bang! With one shot, the alien beast was directly shot and flew out. And at this moment, a passerby who had just passed by was also frightened by the terrifying appearance of the alien beast. Discovering ordinary people, I'll go protect her. Orange Little Lily told her teammates about this news through the X terminal, while she quickly felt the passerby's side. Is everything okay? Hold on. Just as Orange Lily was about to lift the passersby up, she heard a loud noise. Turning around, the ceiling collapsed with a loud bang not far away. A strange beast fell from above. Boom. 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 With the action of the alien beast, the ceiling that had already been ravaged by him began to collapse. Orange Lily and the passerby had no time to dodge and were buried somewhere by the collapsed rock. As the smoke dissipated, the figures of Orange Lily and the passerby also appeared. Compared to passersby whose whole body was pressed under the rock slab, Orange Lily only had her lower body pressed down. This can also be considered one of the few good news. How are you? Wake up quickly. Can you hear me speaking? Orange Lily noticed something unusual about the passersby around her and quickly reached out to shake her. Faced with the cries of Orange Lily, passersby could only make unknown groans and could not respond to her words. Perhaps due to the large amount of smoke and dust, or perhaps for other reasons, the alien beast did not notice the Orange Lilies and others, but instead walked away leisurely. Just as Orange Lily struggled to break free from the ruins, the X terminal that fell to the ground rang. I can't speak now. Orange Lily, who was in a hurry to save people, did not see the person displayed on the terminal, but hurriedly hung up the terminal. Fortunately, at this moment, even the panicked sound from the terminal was transmitted. Mom, don't hang up. Otherwise, my sister will die. The girl on the terminal kept crying, and the sound was truly heartbreaking. Looking at her crying daughter on the terminal, Orange Little Lily was very worried. A monster suddenly emerged from the lake, and the kayak flew over and hit my sister's head. Where's dad? 
He went to fetch water but hasn't returned yet. The World of Traga Jinjong Jinwu looked at the scene in the video and said to Jinjian Jiming beside him. It seems that the Sodot called Nexus Ultraman's human body should be on both of them. After spending so much pen and ink, even Jinjong Jinwu can see that the video in the light screen should be based on this. Jinjian Jiming also nodded and said. Yeah, I just don't know how Nexus Ultraman and Traga Ultraman compare. At this moment, Sheng Zhangren also took the message and said. Their world's technology has many merits, and it would be great if we could exchange ideas with them. Zeta Ultraman World Gagula nodded as she watched the scene in the video. Just now, he finally remembered the legend about Noah that he had heard on O50. One of them is about Nexus Ultraman. The human body of Nexus that I remember is very special, completely different from other Ultramen. They call the human body the adaptable dot. Gagula encountered many Ultramen, so he also wanted to see Nexus's uniqueness. In the video. As the lake surged, the huge monster also emerged from the mountains and forests. A burst of energy was emitted towards the lake surface. Boom. The energy fell on the lake, splashing a large splash of water to wet Xiaoman and sisters. Orange Lily heard her daughter's panicked voice and quickly picked up the X terminal. Xiao Man. What's wrong with you, Xiao Man? Blessings come in pairs, misfortune never comes alone. The shout of Orange Lilies attracted the nearby alien beast. Realizing her mistake, Orange Lily quickly reached out and wanted to hold the explosive gun in her hand. But the short distance made Orange Lily feel a bit out of reach. At this moment, Xiaoman's voice came out again from the terminal. Monster, it's coming here. Mom. Mom. Xiao Man lay on top of his sister, constantly crying and shouting. And over there, Orange Lily felt heartbroken when she heard her daughter's voice. Ah, ah. At this moment, the alien beast walked over, and Orange Lily had no choice but to use the nearby gravel to attack him. Fortunately, the strength of this alien beast is not very strong, even the attack of Orange Lily can temporarily repel it. In the terminal, the daughter's cries also kept coming. Orange Lily's heart became even more flustered. The alien beast that was temporarily repelled by Orange Lily let out a roar, and soon another alien beast walked over. Two alien beasts walked towards the ruins where Orange Lily was located, one in front of the other. On the other side, the monster also noticed Xiao Man and the two of them walking towards Xiao Man and the others. The huge body shook with every step, causing Xiao Man to panic. The ugly alien and monster in the picture keep moving forward, and the two scenes constantly alternate. People can't help but worry about the mother and daughter of Orange Lily. P.S. New book release, kneeling down for flower monthly pass evaluation tickets. All your support is the author's motivation, thank you very much. Chapter 4 Evolutionary Believers Transforming into Nexus You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ike's World Damn it, what kind of monster is that? The Earth looked at the monster in the video in great anger. At the same time, I am also wondering where I am in the video, whether it is on the side of the alien beast or the monster, there is no presence of him. Don't worry, it will be okay. Shinki Masataro also saw the concern of Ju Xiao Lily and spoke out to comfort her. I know, and since we already have that title, if we want to come to the end, both me and Xiao Man will be rescued. As a member of the defense team, Orange Lily's psychological quality is still very good. After the initial panic, she stabilized her mind. The world of Diga Ultraman. Daegu watched the Orange Lily in the video and felt worried about her. Where the hell did that Nexus Ultraman go? Daegu originally thought that Nexus Ultraman would appear soon, but he didn't expect that even at such a critical moment, Nexus Ultraman would not appear. On the other side, Kiyoshi Kiyoshi watched the scene in the video and said. Humph, it's really inappropriate to entrust one's own safety to those Ultramen. 
such power can only be controlled in one's own hands. In the video, the explosive gun within reach indeed plunged Orange Lily into despair. No matter how much Orange Lily reaches out, it cannot reach the explosive gun. As the alien beasts approached him, his daughter's cries grew louder and louder. When Orange Lily was in despair, she suddenly found a light appearing in front of her. The light appeared very faint at first, and if you don't look carefully, you won't be able to detect it at all. But it is this faint light that brings hope to the Orange Lily. It seems that I felt the longing of the Orange Lily, and the light over there also responded. As the light grows, it becomes more and more dazzling. In this radiance, the evolutionary believers float among them. At the moment of seeing the evolutionary trustor, Orange Lily held it in her hand without any hesitation. Then hold down the grip of the evolutionary believer and instantly pull it out. Spirited Radiance The divine light emerged from the evolutionary trustors. Bang! Instantly soaring into the clouds, transforming into a beam of light that cuts through the sky. The radiance was dazzling, somewhat dazzling, as dazzling as the rising sun. In such a situation, the two alien beasts were unable to control their bodies and could even wave and struggle wildly there. At the next moment, a huge figure descended from the sky. Boom! The huge body instantly crushed the two alien beasts. The silver giant crouched on the ground, its red muscles beating like blood. Nexus Ultraman Coming on stage Nexus World Ji Yenjuan looked at the huge silver giant and excitedly waved his hand. Finally out, Nexus. As an adaptable individual of Nexus, Ji Yazhan is well aware of the power that Nexus possesses. With such power, I believe her daughter's side can also be rescued. Ji Yenjuan spoke while taking out her own evolutionary trustor to watch. Even in that world, we have to pass on light. Another place is called Happy House. The boy named Xian Shu Lian also saw Nexus Ultraman in the video. Great, this way we're all saved. Although Qian Shu Lian can only live to be 18 years old, he is indeed very optimistic. Looking at the orange lilies and their rescue, I feel sincere blessings. The Kingdom of Light Ace looked at Nexus in the video with some confusion and said to Tyro beside him. Is the legendary Nexus strength only like this? What Ace can see, Tyro can also see. In the video, Nexus is not very powerful, and it can even be said that he is somewhat weak. Perhaps it's not Nexus' fault, but the problem with the shapeshifter. At this point, the first generation came over and gave their own conclusion. In the video, Nexus glanced at the passerby in his hand and quickly flew towards the sky. Leaping over the clouds, they quickly rushed towards the place where Xiao Man and his companions were located. Just before the monster wanted to attack Xiao Man and the others, Nexus felt the monster fall to the ground in time. Control the monster's head with both hands and push him towards the nearby mountain. At this moment, Orange Xiangu finally rushed back. The daughter lying on the ground looked very flustered. After Xiaoman's narration, Zhu Xiangu also understood the beginning and end of the matter. Looking up, at this moment, the massive monster was completely powerless against Nexus's attack. Accompanied by an explosion, the monster was easily eliminated. The World of Nexus Inside the Night Raid Team Nishishio Kane looked at Zhu Xiangu in the video and spoke to Kojima Ichikic, saying. Ha ha ha, human, take a look inside. This guy doesn't look like you're getting old. Upon hearing the words of the vice captain, Gyuman Ihue looked up and was also stunned by the video of Ju Xiangu giving his daughter first aid. Not to mention, this guy really looks like me. In the world of Ikes. I didn't expect Deputy Captain Yu to transform into Ultraman. The sky and earth looked at the orange lilies beside them with a shocked expression. Although everyone had guessed before, seeing this scene was still unbelievable. I didn't expect it either, but I'm curious about how that shape-shifting device came about. Orange Lily did not feel happy because she became Ultraman in the video. 
After all, becoming Ultraman almost cost me the price of losing my daughter. In the video. The screen rotates. Time has arrived during the day. Accompanied by a spatial crack, a terrifying monster descended from it. This monster is the alien beast by Jebison that was not eliminated yesterday. The vast expanse of the Earth clearly recognized this monster as well. Take out the Ike's terminal and say. Ike's, let's merge. Upon hearing the words of the Kong DD, Ike's in the terminal also responded. Okay, go ahead. P.S. New book release, kneeling down for flower monthly pass evaluation tickets. All your support is the author's motivation, thank you very much. Chapter 5 Stacked Light Storm Kneel down. You are listening at novelfull.audio. As the Ike's terminal unfolds, the Kong D successfully transformed into Ike's Ultraman. By Jebazen, who was destroying everything, saw the descending Ikes. Without saying a word, he pounced on it. Unexpectedly, such an attack almost fell to the ground by Bijebazin. Before Ikes could adjust his figure, Bijebazin had already launched another attack. As an alien beast, Bijebazin not only has strong defensive abilities, but also extremely extreme means of attack. This is the first time that such an enemy has been encountered by Alex, and he can only defend awkwardly against the attack of Bagbazan. By Jebazan's sharp claws splashed sparks on Ike's body. Later, he seized the opportunity for Ike's to counterattack and pinned him to the ground. By Jebazan, who was pressing on Ike's, kept pounding his body. Even if Ike's found an opportunity to counterattack, he would soon be suppressed by By Jebazan. On King Star. Leo looked at Ike's in the video and said to Saro Education beside him. This is the consequence of not having a solid foundation, being immediately helpless in the face of some unconventional enemies. Leo couldn't bear to see Ike's fighting skills anymore, after all, Ike's may be the first Ultraman Leo has ever seen to be suppressed by a monster in terms of skills, humph, I'm not that guy. It might take another 20,000 years for such a monster to defeat me. Today, Saro has already graduated, but he is still the proud racing rabbit. In the world of Ikes. The members of the defense team looked with strange eyes at the vast sky and earth sitting there. Well. That. It must have been me who accidentally got knocked down. I feel a bit embarrassed watching the video of myself being wrestled to the ground by a monster. Especially after everyone already knows their identity, they feel a bit inexplicable shame. All right, stop mocking the earth. Let's first talk about the alien beast in the video. Shinki Masataro shifted everyone's attention and began discussing the issue of the alien beast that appeared in the video. The video continues. Faced with by and suppression of Ikes, it can be said to be very tragic. Even the chest lights have begun to speak. At this moment, the orange lily appeared nearby at some unknown time. She held the evolutionary trust or in her hand, her gaze so firm. As she pulled out the evolutionary believer, the orange lily once again transformed into Nexus Ultraman in a ray of light. And during the flight, she also smoothly transitioned from Nexus's juvenile form to the red youth form. She quickly rushed to the scene after passing a red ribbon in the air. Faced with by Jebazin's surprise attack on Ike's, Nex, who arrived in time, kicked him out with a single kick. A very handsome rescue scene. Deputy Captain. Looking at Nexus's back in the air, the Earth was also stunned. And Nexus over there has already put on a posture to prepare for any attack that the alien beasts may launch at any time. The blue energy gathered in Nexus's hand. As she swept past and pointed towards the sky, the Meta Realm enveloped the battlefield. And the two Ultramen who were originally in the city, along with the alien beast, also disappeared without a trace. Zeta World In the restroom, Yasuhiro Natsukawa watched the move shown by Nexus in the video, his eyes filled with envy, and he asked Zeta. Zeta, do you know that move? If I could also use this move, I wouldn't have to worry about monsters causing damage to the city anymore. 
Upon hearing Xia Chuan Yaohui's words, Zeta awkwardly spoke up. Our instructor has not taught me this move, and I have not seen other seniors perform it. The words were not finished yet, but Yasuhiro Natsukawa still understood the meaning behind them. That's why I can't do it. I don't know. Next door to Yasuhiro Natsukawa, Gagula was holding up her pants while listening to Yasuhiro Natsukawa shouting inside the adjacent room. With a sigh, he said. Stinky kid, what would you do without me? After finishing speaking, don't forget to place a construction sign at the entrance of the toilet when going out. The world of Driambius. Sagura Ryu glanced at the nearby Hibia Futsui and said, if you had the same ability back then, you wouldn't need me to talk about you. Upon hearing Sagura Ryu's words, Hibia Yashiteru awkwardly touched his head, after all, he was initially questioned about how he protected the earth. That ability should be unique to Nexus Ultraman, and according to the database records, other Ultraman from Earth also do not have this ability. Fortunately, the urgency of the situation eased the awkwardness of the future in a timely manner. In the video. In the field of Meta, Nexus and Axe Ultraman rushed towards Bagbazan together. Although Baijebazan's strength is good, he has completely lost his previous advantage when facing the siege of two Ultramen. Ikes and Nex cooperated very well with each other. You alternate your punches and my kicks, and you don't even give Baijebazan a chance to counterattack. Even if Baijebazan wants to solve one first, the other person will take appropriate action to ease the situation. After evading the attack of Baijebazan, Nexus punched and kicked Baijebazan in the abdomen. Ikes took the opportunity to unleash the light of Xanadin, and the blue energy was instantly released and fell on Baijebazan, causing him a heavy blow. Nexus released Particle Feather to replenish damage. Seeing that the two of them had dealt a heavy blow to Baijiba Zun, Dakong Dadi subsequently upgraded. Axe Ultraman, Energy Upgrade. Ike's Transcendence. After completing the form transformation, Axe placed his hands on the dart to gather energy. And on the other side, Nexus began to gather his own energy. Electric light wrapped around her arms. Axe Head Dart Ray. The energy was released from Axe's head dart and shot towards Bagbazan. Nexus's attack was released immediately afterwards. Layered Light Storm. P.S. New Book Release, Kneeling Down for Flower Monthly Pass Evaluation Tickets. All your support is the author's motivation, thank you very much. Chapter 6 Mysterious Rewards Ninth Place Appears, Kneeling and Begging You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The dazzling light flashed directly through the air, aimed at by Jebison ahead. However, in an instant, both attacks fell on Lord Baijiba. Boom! A louder roar than before. A more dazzling light than before. Appearing from the place where Baijiba Zun is located. Thick smoke billowed, and a huge mushroom cloud kept surging. In such a fierce attack, Bagbazan's body was directly defeated. Transforming into particles that completely dissipate. Ike's world. The crowd cheered in an instant. Great, we finally solved this monster. Orange Lily also showed an excited smile on her face. My daughter is fine, and the earth is also fine. They successfully defeated this monster. In any way, it is a very joyful thing. Several other figures next to her also gathered around Orange Lily and looked at her excitedly. The deputy captain didn't expect you to be so amazing. Orange Lily looked at the figures surrounding her and shook her head helplessly. I haven't received an evolutionary trustor yet. The Kingdom of Light. Zhongao happily said, the combined combat effectiveness of Nexus and Ikes is still good. Ace nodded slowly and said, indeed, and Nexus Meta Realm is very useful. During battles, simply pulling monsters in won't destroy Earth. The other Otto brothers also highly recognize it. They have all fought on Earth before, and when fighting against monsters, it is inevitable that something will happen that damages the Earth. Although it's not what they want, it's inevitable. 
Nexus's meta field can effectively avoid this issue. While the crowd was discussing this matter, Zophie suddenly spoke up. As I mentioned before, there will be rewards for those who make it to the list. A sentence instantly pulled their attention away. They immediately ended their discussion of Nexus and turned their attention to the light screen. The mysterious light curtain that suddenly appeared, I don't know what kind of surprise it will bring them next. All the heavens and all the realms, everyone looked up and stared at the light curtain in front of them. Everyone is waiting for what the so dot called reward is all about. Amidst the anticipation of the crowd, a majestic voice soon sounded. Nexus Ultraman has been recognized and is now awarded a reward. A golden light slowly descended. Completely cover the body of the orange lily. The members of the nearby defense team couldn't help but retreat and keep a distance from her. But there was a faint excitement on his face. The orange lily, shrouded in this golden light, only felt a stream of heat emanating from her body. At the same time, a familiar light also appeared from her. Even everyone had seen the phantom of Nexus appearing behind her. Nexus human body, adaptable, receive rewards, absolute defense. The colorful light flickered and all merged into the body of the orange lily. The light quickly dissipated. Orange lily appeared again in front of everyone in the defense team. Vice Captain, why don't we take two moves? Dukong Dadi grinned instantly Orange Lily clenched her fist, feeling the mysterious power within her body, and nodded towards the vast sky and earth. Quickly, two figures appeared in an open space, transforming into Ultraman at the same time. Be careful, I won't show mercy. Ikes directly gathers energy and unleashes the light of Xanadim. The blue energy was instantly released, passing through the space and landing on Nexus. Boom boom. Nexus didn't do anything low dot end. Hands hanging upright. Boom boom. Accompanied by a loud noise and light, Nexus's figure remained upright. The attack did not break his defense, let alone harm him. Everyone exclaimed in surprise. Is this the reward that Nexus received? Too handsome. All the time and space in the world, the audience who watched this scene showed a hint of envy. Is this the mysterious reward for being on the list? Originally, people only regarded videos as entertainment, as a pleasure in endless life. But now seeing the reward appear, my mood has completely changed. They can't wait to see what comes next. I want to see if I will appear on this list and receive rewards in the future. Nexus World Ji Shijuan watched the changes in Orange Lily and saw her strong defense ability after receiving the reward. I couldn't help but clench my fist. If I could also appear on the list. If he also has absolute defense, he doesn't have to worry about getting injured, and he doesn't have to drag his injured body every time to fight. However, Ji lost her composure and quickly let out a bitter smile. The endless battles, repeated scars, are all punishment for him. How could there be a reward, how could it be avoided? The content of the frozen light screen slowly changes again. As the content of the light curtain changed, everyone's expressions were filled with anticipation. Who will be on the list this time? Can it be them? Soon, the familiar golden characters appeared in the light curtain. The top 10 most handsome transformations of the new generation Ultraman, 9th place Ikes. The crowd immediately showed a hint of disappointment, surprisingly it was not them. But I quickly adjusted myself. It's only 9th place now. There are still 8 spots left, don't worry, don't worry. Ikes World. A group of defense team members instantly turned their gaze towards the vast sky and earth. It's you this time. You're on the list. Akira Yames excitedly patted the shoulder of Takashi Daichi. Other members of the defense team have also surrounded the sky and earth. I thought with Nexus before, our world would no longer have Ultra Warriors on the list. The big sky and the earth couldn't help but crack their mouths, he couldn't hold back any longer. I'm on the list. Is his most handsome transformation about to be exposed? Haha. <laughs> I can't help but be happy. 
I don't know what kind of performance he will have or what kind of reward he will receive. K-76 stars. Saro clenched his fist. There was still a hint of defiance in his eyes. Why hasn't I been there yet? Is it that he doesn't deserve it? However, in an instant, Saro's eyes were filled with a sense of war and his face was full of confidence. It's okay. He must have a high ranking. After all, he is the most beautiful and handsome boy in the Kingdom of Light, and there must be a place for him on this ranking. In the video. Suddenly, mysterious energies appeared one after another in the universe. When the energy of these dark thunderstorms falls, the monsters and shining dolls that are hit become exceptionally ferocious. Continuously ravaging. Causing a lot of harm to the earth. Moreover, this energy is constantly approaching the earth. It has already caused such a significant impact before reaching earth. Once landing, everyone can think of the next scene. At present, the data is a bit average. Readers who are reading this book, the author, please support this book and submit more data. The author will update it well. Chapter 7 The Unreal Monster Gliza appears. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The atmosphere of the entire Earth became very serious, and members of the defense team also reacted. The members of the Zio Special Search Team piloted the spacecraft directly to search for the source of this strange energy in the universe. As they were moving forward, an object emitting energy from encountering a miraculous halo kept approaching the spacecraft. With the appearance of this light, the spacecraft lost contact directly with the base. The search and rescue team members on Earth quickly discovered this. Through their research, the doctor quickly spoke up. This energy does not exist at all, and the control detection device on the spacecraft cannot detect the spatial value of this object at all. The crowd looked extremely serious and said, so, the enemy we are going to deal with this time, this mysterious light cluster, must be very tricky. Since it doesn't exist, there's no way to intercept it at all. These members within the base did not hesitate and immediately released the news. As the news spread, the atmosphere on Earth became very solemn. Finally, this mysterious light finally descended on Earth. At the moment of landing, all objects within one kilometer of the surrounding area turned into nothingness and disappeared. This mysterious object finally revealed his figure. The Kingdom of Light. What happened this time was the Void Monster. It's really a bit troublesome now. There is a lot of discussion among the Olympics. The Otto brothers looked at the light curtain ahead with a serious expression. I don't know what kind of performance Ikes will have against this void monster this time. This kind of void monster is not so easy to deal with even the Ultra Warriors of the Kingdom of Light. I don't know how to deal with Ikes on Earth. Ikes World Everyone had a serious expression on their faces, even some were stunned. The spaceship suddenly lost its tracks, and the monster just landed, turning all objects within a kilometer into nothingness. This monster must be very difficult to deal with. Even something they had never seen before. Everyone's gaze was fixed on the vast expanse of land on one side. Only ultra-warriors are likely to be able to deal with such monsters. Faced with the gaze of the crowd and the expression of their gaze towards oneself in the open air. Suddenly, countless lofty aspirations erupted from the bottom of my heart. Don't worry. I will definitely improve my strength as soon as possible and never let monsters ravage me. Absolutely not. Since Ikes has chosen him, he will never disappoint everyone. Dig a world. I didn't expect that the technology on Earth in this world has already developed to this extent, said Vice Captain Zongfang in surprise. Other members of the defense team did indeed nod one after another. That's true. The Gu nodded and said, if one day our technology can also reach this level. On one side, Yi Rui immediately answered with an excited tone, so we can fight together with Dijia. They don't have to keep Dijia fighting alone, they can fight side by side. Although they also have fighter jets and want to provide help to Dijia, they still rely on Dijia every time. 
all members of the defense team have hot eyes. In the video. The moment Grise's voice appeared, the moment he landed on Earth. Ikes has already reacted. Feeling Gliza's presence, Ikes immediately spoke out. It's Gryza. The Kong Da Di was taken aback and said, What? While speaking in the open air, Ikes had already communicated directly with the members of the Zio Special Search Team. All members of the G Zio Special Search Team have received communication. Ikes's voice also sounded in their ears. Captain Shinmu, I'm Ikes, and the one who just attacked Earth was Gliza. Both what happened before and Axe's initiative now have made everyone's faces very serious. Captain Shinmu spoke slowly at this moment, since you are directly contacting us now, does it prove that the situation is very serious? Ikes continued, Gliza is a nothingness monster that can turn everything into nothingness. All creatures within its coverage will disappear. Three planets were once destroyed by Gliza, and it was because of him that I came to the solar system. As Ike spoke, everyone's expression became very serious. The members of the defense team were even more breathing rapidly at this time. How can they stop this crisis after eliminating three planets? But the situation is urgent and there is no room for them to think too much. Quickly, they began to prepare for the war, evacuate the crowd, and prepare for a big battle with Gryza. At this time, Gliza is still causing damage to the Earth. At the same time, humans on Earth also launched a fierce attack on Gliza. Pillars of light appeared one after another, and missiles flew through the air. Dust and smoke filled the air, thick smoke billowed. Attack after attack towards Gliza. Endless light has illuminated the entire space. Countless missiles are like shooting stars as they continuously impact. The location of the explosion was also filled with thick smoke. Even those who were closer at this moment felt as if it was the end of the world. Flame dragons kept moving towards Gliza ahead. A burst of anger erupted from everyone's mouths. Go ahead. Never let him destroy the earth. A series of light bullets tore through space like lightning. All attacks are heading towards Gliza, which is constantly raging above. With endless roars, with the power to tear apart space, and with everyone's faith. No matter how fierce their attack is, no matter how strong their authority is, they cannot touch Gliza's figure at all. The light bullet passed by him, as if entering nothingness. In the endless light, Gliza's figure kept dancing in the sky. Amidst the crowd's expressions of shock and fear, Gliza gathered all his energy. Immediately launch a counterattack. Suddenly, dazzling beams of light appeared from Gryza, like a meteor falling from where Gryza was, descending downwards. Whoosh whoosh! Countless light bullets flashed through the air, just like the previous overwhelming attacks towards Gliza. The dazzling light flickers and tears through the space. Directly hit the warship below. Boom boom! The terrifying explosion continued to spread, as if to tear everyone's eardrums apart. Shocking the world. Countless warships were directly shattered under Gryza's attack. A thick smoke billowed up from the entire sea surface. Countless warships sank to the bottom of the sea, with debris floating on the surface. It looks completely like a ruin, as if it has experienced the apocalypse of artillery fire. Their attack on Gliza ended in a complete defeat. The intelligence returned and the entire base fell into a state of worry and despair. Gliza is so difficult to deal with, what should we do next? Chapter 8 Ixa's Handsome Transformation, Kneeling for Flowers You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Kingdom of Light I didn't expect Gliza's ability to be so strong. No wonder he was able to destroy three planets before. This ability is really terrifying, and I don't know how Ikes will deal with him this time. There is a lot of discussion among the Olympics. There was still some nervousness during the conversation, as they wanted to eliminate the Void Monster and protect the Earth. Previously, Ikes and Gliza had a major battle between other galaxies. But Gliza still destroyed several planets. 
I don't know what they should do on Earth this time. Can Ike successfully defeat Gliza to protect the Earth? If, like before, Gryza destroyed the Earth, he would be of no use defeating Gryza. Zophie's expression was firm. We need to trust Ike's, trust Ultraman. Nexus World. Ji Shizhuan's face was very serious. Is this the strength of the Void Monster? The technology in this world is indeed outstanding, and the abilities of the monsters they face are also very outstanding. Gliza's ability is too dangerous. I don't know if it's possible to pull him into the meta space when he's facing Gryza. Can you stop him from launching an attack on Earth? The video continues. Just as the Kong Di and Ming Ri Na were rushing towards the base, preparing to fight against Gliza with all their might. Gliza's body has already appeared in the air. Approaching them constantly. Faced with the scene ahead, the vast sky and earth finally had no hesitation. He gritted his teeth and rushed off the car, aiming his target at Gliza, who was constantly approaching in the sky. Yes. He knows that Gryza is very powerful, and he doesn't even have absolute certainty. But he will not back down. As an Ultraman, his mission is to protect humanity. Even if it means sacrificing oneself at any cost. This is my responsibility as Ultraman. After throwing open Mingrina in the open air, without any hesitation, the body charged forward at lightning speed. He is extremely fast, constantly running on the ground while holding the Ike's terminal and directly lifting it high. Ike's, let's merge. During the conversation, the other hand of Dekong D was directly placed on the shape-shifting device. Suddenly, a dazzling light appeared in front of him. The light kept crashing forward with Ike's. The sky and earth are also racing at lightning speed. Ike's. With a loud roar, the figure of Ike's suddenly appeared in the endless golden light. He was covered in golden light all over his body. Then he charged towards Gliza above with a fierce force. The act of transforming while running forward at lightning speed instantly caught everyone's attention. Ob world. Hong Kai's eyes lit up and he said, this transformation method seems quite good. It's really handsome. The scene shrouded in dazzling vision while running forward at lightning speed. How about he also learn from the vast expanse of the earth? However, in an instant, Red Kai dispelled his own idea. He needs to find the most suitable transformation for himself, learning from others has no future. The video continues. The figure of the vast sky and the earth is still approaching Gryza. At such a time, even when the base learned that the vast expanse of land was Ike's, everyone was shocked. The vast sky and the earth are Ike's. We cannot let Ike's fight alone, provide support immediately. Soon, the base has decided to support the air and earth. At this moment, the vast sky and earth have already appeared in mid-air. I have already aligned with Gliza ahead. Almost at the same time, the Kong D immediately raised his hand. Switched directly to the transcendent form. Instantly accelerate the speed again. Gliza's figure ahead is also constantly approaching and impacting. Two rays of light slid from the air and in an instant, they had collided. Boom. The collision between the two sides in the air suddenly caused a huge explosion. The dazzling light, centered around the place where they collided, is constantly spreading. Countless energies are also constantly sweeping through. Lightning flashes suddenly spread around the area. The entire sky has been completely illuminated. The terrifying sound resounded in everyone's ears. Quickly, the two figures twisted together. Directly hit the ground from the air. At this moment, Mingrina on one side also summoned the virtual Gamora. As soon as the figure of virtual Gamora appeared, he immediately aimed his target at Gliza. The fighter jets from the base also joined the battlefield. Facing the figure of Gliza in front of us, the warship did not hesitate and glided through the air, taking the lead in launching an attack. Energy keeps gushing out one after another. 
The light bomb also flew directly towards Gliza from both sides of the wings. The light flashed through the air, causing a piercing sound and illuminating half of the space. All the attacks fell to the location of Grizana ahead. However, the current Gliza is completely in a state of nothingness, and all machines cannot detect his presence. Similarly, all the artillery attacks from the fighter jets did not have any effect. The attack was worn from Grize's body and landed on the empty ground behind him. Virtual Gamara and Ikes on one side had already launched a fierce attack directly on Gliza ahead. Two figures kept charging forward. Ikes clenched his fist and threw it at Gryza. The fist charged forward, and the air rustled. At the first moment when his attack landed in front of Gryza, Gryza made a movement. Suddenly, the void around him seemed to have turned into an illusory state in that moment. Ikes's attack was a direct failure. Gliza's figure had already appeared behind him in an instant. What? Ikes gritted his teeth and turned around, launching another fierce attack on Gliza. The attack was more intense and faster than before, and the sound of popping through the air kept ringing. Keg Liza always manages to easily dodge his attacks. Every time his body collides with his attacks, it also becomes a state of nothingness. Ikes attacked several times without causing any impact on Gliza. After several moves, his energy loss was very severe. After evading Axe's attack, Gliza instantly aimed his target at the virtual Gamara ahead. Immediately, he raised his hand and slammed it towards him. Dong! The loud noise spread. Virtual Gamara was knocked down directly by Gryza. Stop it! Ikes let out a roar and rushed towards Gryza again, then threw it at him. After several consecutive attacks, Gryza was still unharmed. Their intensive attacks were mostly easily dodged by Gryza. On the contrary, because Gryza could become a state of nothingness at any time, during which time the bodies of Ikes and Gamara collided. At this moment, as Gamara continued to gather energy, Gryza rushed up to him and interrupted his movement. Now the great battle between the two sides is looming high and low. Gryza relied on his own nothingness, and every time in close combat, Ikes and Gamara teamed up and couldn't touch him at all. But unfortunately, Gliza was able to launch a counterattack at any time. Ikes did not gain any benefits at all. For a while, the two figures couldn't help but retreat step by step. Chapter 9 Is Bursting Kneeling Down for Flower Monthly Pass Review You are listening at NovelFull.audio after Gryza completely gained the upper hand, he aimed his target at Gamara and Ikes on one side. Gliza released her energy directly, and a purple beam of light appeared on her head. Lightning continued to spread. Flames pierced through space. The explosive force left everyone stunned. Instantly hit Ikes and Gamara ahead. The two figures were directly smashed to the ground by Gryza's attack. Even the fighter jets in the air couldn't escape. The fighter jet was hit and a black smoke shot out of its butt, hitting the ground. Ikes fell to the ground with some pain. Dig a world. The members of the defense team had serious faces and stared closely at the scene in front of them. Even at this moment, it was evident that there seemed to be a hint of nervousness in their eyes. Is Gliza's strength so impressive? His ability is very difficult to deal with, he can switch between nothingness at any time and launch a counterattack. I don't know if Dijia has this ability to solve it. Degu's expression was also very serious. Staring closely at the scene in front of him, constantly pondering all of Gliza's actions, including his abilities. Upon hearing a sudden sound coming from beside him, Degu shook his head reflexively. No. The gaze of intermediary Hui instantly fell on Daegu. How do you know? Daegu reacted and quickly explained, I guessed. Ju Jian Hui gave him a skeptical glance. Ike's world. Could such a terrifying monster have descended on earth? Feng Jiandu looked serious. I don't know when he will descend on earth, we must start preparing in advance from now on, 
said Orange Lily. Everyone's gaze fell on the vast expanse of the earth to one side. The expression in his eyes was very serious, but also with a hint of firmness and recognition. De Kong D gritted his teeth as he faced the gaze of the people next to him. Anyway, Axe and I will definitely work hard and never watch these monsters wreak havoc on Earth. In the video, Ikes quickly gritted his teeth and charged towards Gryza again. At the moment he had just stood up, Gryza let out another roar of anger. Light attacked one after another, and in an instant, it landed on Ikes again. Boom boom. A loud bang came, and under such a fierce attack, Ikes's body kept retreating one after another. Even in ultra space, the bodies of the vast sky and earth are violently shaking. Waves of light still fell on Ikes, still raging incessantly. Gold particles overflow. He fell directly to the ground under such a fierce attack. Gamara, who rushed over from behind, was also directly hit by Gryza. At this moment, Gliza looked up again and let out a roar. Gliza sound wave. Waves of light came towards Ikes again and again. The sound continued to spread, and all the humans who heard it couldn't help but change their faces. Ikes, who bears the brunt, goes without saying much. Under this fierce attack, under the sweeping energy, Ikes couldn't help but cover his head and reveal a painful expression. As the energy continued to sweep through, and with the attacks he suffered, the energy indicator light on Ikes's chest flickered fiercely with red light. The light becomes more and more intense, and the speed becomes faster and faster. Gliza's attack, however, did not stop and instead became even more intense than before. The ground gritted its teeth in the air and directly called out the axe head dart. At the same time, Ike struggled to get up again. Waving his hands, an energy was constantly spreading from him. The light on Ike's body became increasingly dazzling. Hold the head dart directly and forcefully charge forward. Beyond axe cutting. A dazzling light slid through the air, and the beam of light continued to sweep through, rushing towards Gliza ahead. In the endless light, Axe's figure kept getting closer to Gliza. At this moment, Gliza suddenly raised his hand. Gliza absorbs. A barrier appeared in front of him. Ikes's attack fell on Gliza's absorption. At the moment when the light intersects, countless energies are completely absorbed by Gliza's move. Even Axe, who was behind him, was absorbed by him. The Kingdom of Light. The Ultras all showed a worried expression. Gliza is so difficult to deal with, Ikes won't fail, will he? No, Zofi said quickly. All the Olympic gazes fell on Zofi. Zofi looked up at the light curtain ahead and said, Ikes has dealt with Gliza before, and even if it's a bit difficult this time, there won't be any problem. I can win this time as well as before. Ikes is an Ultraman and will never fail. Nexus World G lost her composure and stared closely at the scene in front of her. Ikes's attacks couldn't even fall on him, so it's unlikely that he could pull them into the meta space. If he encounters such a monster, he may have to think of other ways to change the battle. On the other side, the members of the night raid team also looked extremely serious, staring closely at the scene. Nishishio Nagi gritted his teeth and clenched his fists. Analyze all the data of this monster and make sure to develop a combat method. Other research institutes are also taking action. The video continues. Although Gliza absorbed Axe. But because he absorbed the Space Needle Axe head dart. At this point, Gliza was affected and could no longer enter a state of nothingness. The two forces inside him were restraining each other and constantly attacking each other. For a moment, Gliza could no longer suppress this force. He raised his head and let out angry roars, even his body constantly changing. Finally, the energy swept through, and under such a fierce attack, Gliza's body suddenly exploded. Boom boom. A loud noise came. A burst of thick smoke billowed, and by this time, the place where Ikes was located had completely turned into a sea of fire. He has been completely engulfed by his explosion. 
Even Mingrina on one side was directly thrown away by such a huge impact force, hitting the ground fiercely. The thick smoke in front of me dissipated, and the flames disappeared. The place where Ike's exploded just now only left one Ike's timer. Dig a world. The victorious team members were momentarily stunned. After a long time, Yeroe finally spoke up. So now it's Griza who has blown himself up. The members of the defense team also reacted and nodded. It seems so, I didn't expect Griza to die like this. This can also be considered a way to deal with Griza, being overwhelmed by Ultraman's energy. Ha, huh, I didn't expect such a powerful Griza to die so suffocated. Everyone is happy again. The voice of the intermediary suddenly rang in everyone's ears. We absolutely can't think this way. We don't know if the cause of Gliza's explosion was due to the energy of the Ultras, and... Chapter 10 Gliza's Resurrection and the Beginning of the Great War, Kneeling You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Intermediary Hui turned her head and stared at the nearby members of the defense team. Do we have to watch the Ultraman and the monster perish together? Everyone's expression changed instantly. Yes, the method of exploding Gryza is the life of the Ultraman warrior. They absolutely cannot let this kind of thing happen. Never. Ike's world. Everyone looked at each other and said, so is this the way to deal with Gliza? Captain Shinmu shook his head slowly and said, no, things are definitely not that simple. Auto warriors won't die so easily, and Gryza won't be defeated so easily. Captain Shinmu spoke, and a strong determination appeared in his eyes. Looking up at the light curtain above. The same goes for the vast expanse of land on one side. Gliza is too terrifying, we must not take it lightly. In the video. Tomorrow, Nana looked at the place where the sky and earth had disappeared, and saw the location of the explosion of Ikes, revealing a look of pain. Slowly moving forward, he stood in front of Axe's timer. All members of the defense team were also in pain. Tomorrow, Nana stood in front of the timer and reached out to touch it. Just then, a sound suddenly came from within the timer. Tomorrow Nai immediately transmitted the news back. Everyone also heard the sound coming from the timer, which was the sound of heartbeats. They, who were originally in despair and constantly feeling sorry for Ikes, suddenly showed a bit of perseverance. Quickly, under the discussion of everyone, tomorrow's day was transformed into data and entered into the Ikes timer. Tomorrow's figure appears here, constantly calling out the name of the Earth. At this moment, the Earth seemed to be plunged into a state of confusion. He saw the figures of his parents here. The vast sky and earth have completely immersed themselves in their own world. Tomorrow Nai is still constantly calling out to the earth. Gliza, who had just exploded due to the energy of Ikes, began to be reborn at this moment. With a worried expression on their faces, Gliza's body appeared again in front of everyone. This time, Gliza has undergone evolution because he had previously absorbed a large amount of energy and absorbed the energy of Ikes. His strength has greatly improved. However, Gliza evolved from a void state to a physical state. After learning this news, Captain Shinmu became serious again. Now is the best time for us to attack, we must buy time for Ikes. After Captain Shinmu finished speaking, there was no hesitation. Direct order. Prepare to launch an attack. At this point, after Gryza's resurrection, he had already set his sights on the Geo base. Looking at the location of the base ahead, Gliza let out a roar. Immediately converging energy. Gliza vortex. Suddenly, a dazzling light flashed through the air. In a blink of an eye, they were heading towards the Geo base ahead. Countless energy spurts out, followed by a violent shaking. Even countless buildings seem to have been destroyed in an instant. Virtual Gamara reappears, once again fighting against Gryza. However, although Gliza has materialized, his energy has reached a very terrifying number. Virtual Gamara is no match for him at all. 
However, with a few moves, under the strong attack of the Gliza Vortex, Gamara and the entire base have been defeated. With Gryza's terrifying energy, the shining dolls inside the base also materialized in this moment. Transformed directly into a monster. At the moment these monster figures appeared, Gliza immediately let out a roar. Dark thunderstorm absorption. The next second, a vortex appeared in front of him. In an instant, these monsters that had just appeared had been absorbed by Gryza. As the energy of these monsters was injected, Gliza's energy surged again. His combat effectiveness has been greatly improved again. In the area where he was located, there were bursts of explosions. Under tremendous energy stimulation, Gliza's body also underwent significant changes. The body has become more upright than before. Countless tentacles appeared on his body. A series of sharp knives emitted majestic energy. At this time, Gliza looks even more terrifying than before. The energy on my body is even more terrifying than before. I looked up directly at the location of the Ike's timer ahead. The base was destroyed in an instant, and all members of the defense team grabbed auto pistols and rushed out of the base. Struggling to resist the figure of Gryza ahead, fighting for the time that tomorrow Nye has to buy. At this moment, the Earth finally heard tomorrow's call. I heard the voice of tomorrow's Nye. His mind conjured up memories of what had happened before, scenes of them fighting side by side, living and dying together. The rainbow knife in tomorrow's hand emitted a dazzling light. Finally regained the consciousness of the earth and awakened it. At this point, the battle outside has reached its most critical stage. At this moment, Gryza raised his hand directly and aimed his target at the members of the defense team ahead. Constantly gathering energy and preparing for the next wave of attacks. Endless light enveloped Gliza continuously. Wherever the light goes, it carries a full sense of pressure. Once his move succeeds, it will surely destroy humanity. There will definitely be no more opportunities to turn things around. Humanity has also entered a desperate stage. Everyone is united. The fighter jet on one side also charged directly towards Gliza. Finally, this fierce attack interrupted Gryza's attack. But the fighter jet also exploded at the same time. At this moment, the consciousness of the Earth finally came to a complete awakening. He took out his shape-shifting device directly. His expression was very resolute, calling out the name of Ikes. Ikes. A burst of light appeared, and countless energies converged. Finally, the vast sky and earth merged with Ikes once again. In the endless light, Axe's figure appeared once again. Suddenly landing from the air. Dong! A loud noise came. A gust of dust and smoke rose in the area where Ikes was located. In despair, humanity erupted with another burst of cheers. Ikes! Come on! After landing, Ikes immediately stood up and the energy gathered again. Switched directly to the transcendent form. With a shimmering light on his body, Axe's head dart appeared in his hand. Looking up, he aimed his target at Gliza ahead. The body kept sprinting forward, coming towards Gliza at lightning speed. Seeing the figure of Ikes appear. Gliza is also gathering energy at the same time. Multiple attacks form simultaneously. Thunder King Lightning. X Red King Earthquake Wave. Dimaga Molten Iron Flame Bullet. The skills of the spark dolls that he had just absorbed tore apart the space and headed towards Ikes. For those who like this book, please provide more data support. Thank you.